Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, welcome to video four. What is input? The is repeat node. I fired up a quick little example. Let's go and run through it. So when I push a button, it's going to tell me the key that I pushed and tell me if it's repeating or not. In this case, since I'm only tapping each button once, they are not repeating. Now if I hold down the button, what we're going to do is see the button change to the new button I press. It will say it does not repeat because it's going to be the first time through and we're not repeating yet. And then it's going to tell us it does repeat because, well, the key is repeating. So let me do that right now with the H key. And as you saw, it went from does not repeat to repeating. I'm holding down the key, so right now the keyboard is repeating the H key constantly. It's doing it every polling period, which is different based on operating system keyboards and such. If I let go, nothing changes because I haven't done the key down yet. I'll change it to an R, and we'll see the same thing. And you'll see this every single time. It goes from does not repeat to repeat once it starts repeating. And escape does not quit in there because I'm intercepting the key. So let's see how this works and how we're doing it. So the is repeat key can be found in our input event utilities and it's called is repeat. It takes in an input event structure and it puts out a boolean. And it's pretty simple. Basically, if the key is repeating in this event, in this input event, it's going to tell us true or false. Now for my example, what I'm doing is to get an input event, you have to basically break it out of another event. So if we, for example, type an in input event, we're going to find get input event from, and we'll find a few different options. You can get it from a character input, controller input, key input, navigation input, a pointer event. These are five examples that I can get it from. You're not really going to get an input event by itself. Even though we have in our project settings input, these don't actually give you input events. These are going to give you the key that's pressed down, the key event, and then the key event you can convert into an input event. So in this case, I'm intercepting on key down in my widget, getting the key event, using the node to convert the key event into an input event, and then plugging that into my is repeat. And then for that fancy display, all I'm doing is using a select node so I get something other than true or false so it looks a little better. And that's it. That is what our is repeat node does. Takes in an input event, outputs a boolean whether or not it is a repeating key event or repeating input event, not just a key. For example, it could be the mouse held down repeating or touch repeating. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them below.